Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Hawaii. My name is Master Paul, and I'm very happy to be connecting with you today. It is a Thursday. We made it past the middle of the week, and for me, it is the last day of my live streams. I did not let anybody know that there would be a live stream coming from the outdoors of Hawaii today. I wanted to offer you this blessing and have it be a surprise for you. I'm in a little town called Haliiwa, which is on the north shore of Hawaii, of the island of Oahu. And there is uh, a lot of uh, beauty over here. There's nothing over two stories over here, which is very, very nice. <coughs> I shouldn't say that. It might be a three-story building occasionally, but they're really few and far between. Um, generally speaking, nothing taller than the tallest palm tree. So it's a really amazing place. Apparently there was a lot of rain here last night because the waterways are a little bit murky and even the oceans a little bit brown from the runoff. But it's very calm. So far there's no rain. I have my umbrella if I need it so I can stay with you the whole time. And I'm also hoping the signal uh, remains strong because um, where I'm filming at it's uh, three bars and uh, uh, you know Facebook it's a little testy sometimes so I hope that the signal does not drop so welcome to everyone that's joining today we'll be on remembering how we can ha maintain miracles in our life how to maintain our happiness um, a great deal of us find ourselves we in, in the middle of blockages and staying in a place of unhappiness and we forget that we literally are a walking miracle <clears throat> that we are not far from any miracle at any given time and all it requires is a little adjustment of our perspective. So today, I will be focusing on that to assist all of you uh, through soul readings um, specific to you and your, um, your request. Uh, so don't start asking yet. I will give you the cue once you start asking. <coughs> but I will do soul readings today uh, to assist you with bridging the gap between the place that you may be at that might be... Um, uh, a place of uncomfortability, a place that is not enjoyable to you for whatever reason. And we'll see um, what the, uh, the wisdom from the soul world might offer to assist you to get from where you're at back to a place of seeing everything from a place of miraculousness. So it should be a fun day. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so thank you all for joining and also thank you for um, sharing, hitting the share button and let other people know about this. Soul readings are something that I do. Uh, it's not for me something that I take lightly because when you offer somebody wisdom and guidance um, depending on the amount of merit that they put into it they they could um, they could have uh, any number of outcomes and so if for example somebody puts a lot of faith in something that, that I say and um, if the information that is spoken through me is incorrect then that could create a significant karma blockage for me because then I have impacted their soul journey incorrectly. And so I do take soul readings very seriously. Uh, that's why I don't offer them for enjoyment. I offer them uh, for literally for soul guidance uh, to assist people where the blockages are in their life. Um, I've done these for many, many years. Heaven has trained me well, should I say. They did not allow me to open my other spiritual channels until later on, and they basically obligated me to do a great deal of soul readings until I became very comfortable with connecting with heaven and offering guidance. So um, it is something that's available for individuals if they wanted to receive individual soul readings. <coughs> and that information is on my website, which is asoulhealer.com. So let me acknowledge all those that are joining here today for this uh, day of aligning to our miracles and soul readings. Welcome, Johannes. Great to see you here live. I know it's late where you're at. Welcome Anne-Marie, coming in from Australia. Welcome Maddie. Welcome Kayla. I know Kayla, I believe, is up in the Canada, Canadian area. Uh, welcome Lala. Welcome Annie Smith. Welcome Carol. And aloha Christine Loti. Welcome Don Robinson. And aloha Robin Toth. Welcome Nancy Smith. Hi Johnny. Johnny's coming in from the uh, Caribbean. Welcome Linda Martinez. <coughs> Aloha Janice Crosby, welcome Candy Cornette, and again thank you all for sharing, welcome Darlene Carpenter, aloha, welcome Alicia Sosa, and aloha Sharon Dodd. 
Welcome Deborah Anderson, aloha, and welcome Afrosini, and aloha Patricia Tsimino Falkowitz. Hi Kristen Strachan, hello Annette, and welcome Wanda. Welcome to everybody if I haven't mentioned your name, uh, for those that just came in. This is a session in which I will be offering soul readings. Um, specific to realigning our mindsets, our perspectives, back to appreciating our miraculous nature. Um, a lot of us do go off the deep end sometimes in our emotions and our mindsets, attitudes and beliefs. And sometimes we, um, <clears throat> we get stuck in that place for a while and it's not serving us, it's not serving our soul journey. So we will have an opportunity today to do uh, receive readings. Now I will um, give you the cue when you can start asking questions and I'll give you some guidelines around that so don't ask for readings as of yet. We're going to first prepare the energy. I want to give you a little view of where I'm at. I'm here in Hawaii in Haleiwa. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see. You can see over here the kids playing in the water. They've got their little surf, their, they're called stand-up paddle boards so they're very oversized surfboards basically that you can stand on. And there's some people out here in between the trees on uh, a canoe. Hopefully they're not falling over. And I'm in a zone where they have these um, canoe racing basically. And they have these massive, massive canoes that are like 30 foot long. And you get about um, uh, 10 or 15 guys in there running around on the ocean waves pretty fast. So um, this part of the island <coughs> on Oahu is actually very beautiful, very relaxed, very low key, a lot of tourists over here. And that's, you know, that's an unfortunate downside, but you know, when you live in the, the most populated island, you're gonna have tourists. But it's where I run to to, to remain the beauty. So I hope you enjoyed the, the views and to get a little slice of Hawaii. It's right now very calm and balmy, it's about probably about 72 not too bad I'm in the shade right now uh, so if you're not jealous yet <coughs> then sorry I tried to do the best I could <laughs> <coughs> I apologize if there's any extraneous noise you might hear beautiful things like birds but you might also hear loud cars and a few other things I'm not too far from the road all right let us go ahead and connect and welcome to uh, the others that are joined us. Welcome Amy. Welcome also to uh, to Odilia. Welcome. And also Maddie, if I haven't mentioned you yet. Welcome. <clears throat> let us place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. And let us fully connect and we'll invite in the beings of light. Dropping the left hand in front of the heart center, right hand gently pointed towards heaven. Dear beloved Mother Earth, dear beloved Father Heaven, all the beings of light serving the planet of the light side, our beloved creator, <coughs> divine Tao and source. There are the beloved angels, healing angels, archangels, Lama, Sifus, Gurus, saints, masters and ascendant masters, beloved Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Kuan Yin and Namo Amitofu. Our individual heavens teams, guides, angels and saints, we love you all, honor you, respect you. We ask for your presence at this time, that when any readings or information is offered today, <clears throat> that the guidance that is offered through me be of the highest, best, and clearest for the souls that are tuning in. Please offer, uh, borrow my mouth, and allow this wisdom, guidance, and insights to be of the greatest value to these souls as appropriate. To the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls and all universes. Love you, honor you, respect you. <clears throat> we ask you to please turn on and we invite all souls and all universes to join with us as we chant the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to connect heart to heart and soul to soul. So for those souls that are joining new, this is a common uh, activity I do each time I do a live stream. And it's a soul song that connects our hearts and souls together. It is also a healing song, and it is complementary to the world. Uh, you can find it at lovepeaceharmony.org.org, and uh, copyright has been removed. There's actually uh, a request to chant it every day, 
and to play it uh, in your environment every day because it literally brings healing to the environment. So that's lovepeaceharmony.org if you're interested in downloading it. So those that are new, close your eyes, receive the blessing. Everybody else, you're welcome to join with me. <coughs> Ooh, la, lu, la, li. Lu, la, lu, la, la, li. Lu, la, lu, la, li, lu, la. Lu la ha li lu la Lu la ha li lu la Wo ai wo shin erling Wo ai chuan man li Wang li hi ying rong Ha mu shir shang Shang ai ping on the se Song I ping on the sea. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Actually, at the center, at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center, we now chant that song in 10 languages, and we're, we're adding more. We'll be adding French and Spanish soon. Currently, we chant it in those three, which is uh, soul language, Mandarin, Chinese, and English. Then we've added to that uh, Hawaiian language, uh, Chinese, not, uh, excuse me, Japanese, and then Thai. And then we also chant it in German and in Dutch, and in Hindi language, um, and what else? Oh, uh, Tagalog. So it's actually currently translated in 43 different languages around the world, and it is a world healing mantra. So uh, please learn more at lovepeaceharmony.org. Uh, so before I move into the soul readings, welcome Anne-Marie Love, welcome Janet, welcome Lori Geis, welcome Kathleen Monahan. aloha to all of you, and aloha also to Sally Francis and Missy Dodd. Welcome, Alicia Jade Kwan. <clears throat> Today is dedicated to soul readings for all of you for one specific subject matter, where you are missing the pieces and the slices that are inhibiting you from enjoying your miraculous self. We are all walking miracles. And so I am going to ask you all now to go ahead and start making your requests for an area of your life that you would like a soul reading for, don't be generic. Please give me guidance. That's not going to help. Okay? You ask a general question, you'll get a very general answer. If you ask, I am, can't seem to get out of the sadness about this. I can't seem to find joy in the relationship with my husband anymore. Um, I'm uh, having significant difficulty with work. I can no longer find joy in the work. Um, I'm lost on my soul journey. I need guidance to get back on track. Um, something where you're having significant uh, pain in your life that has inhibited you from being in a happy, joyful, and gracious, grateful place. Okay? So pick a specific topic, make a request, and in the meantime, while your requests uh, line up, I'm going to offer uh, a general soul reading. Um, a matter of fact, what I'll do is I will offer a soul reading on what is a soul reading so that all those that watch this that are not familiar will have a good understanding and all those that um, are new will have an understanding of what is a soul reading. Um, so it, it's used what's called flow and I will offer a flow to explain what is a soul reading. So aloha to everybody. Welcome Missy. How? This is a representative of the committee for the heavens teams for each human being. Each of you have a team that is ever present and I would not say constantly changing but definitely the members of your team change. 
You all are souls on a journey, and accordingly, you need guidance. Because when there is entrance into this dimension, there is a loss of remembrance of all that you actually are. This set of words chosen is important to comprehend. You all, for the most part, lack the remembrance of what you actually are. Each soul, regardless of its level of evolvement, is a pure light being, capable of the greatest attributes that you give to your Creator when you have aligned to the highest potential. But it is in this third dimension when you enter that this remembrance has been lost. Soul readings allow for those in the soul world that are in a place of conscious remembering, that are able to see the entirety of your light in its alignment with the light around you in its lack of alignment to your soul and its journey and those who have the abilities and the purity to connect to the soul world be a vessel through which the information is shared with the least amount of disturbance to the message are known as soul readers. Hence, the messages today would be individual to the requesters as you each have individual conditions, individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints, and individual messages for your specific soul's intention. A reading may come from your own soul. It may come from a team member. It may even come from an, what is considered to be something that does not have a soul, such as a object, thought, uh, unseen group, etc. It is not asked of you to offer any a belief to the information what is suggested is to listen with your heart not your head and consider the information from this area as such you will be able to quickly and easily discern the value or accuracy of the information this is the explanation of what is a soul reading how, how, how. So, hopefully that gives you a good understanding. All right, so let's scroll backwards here and see who's made requests. <coughs> so, in case you didn't hear me, welcome to Kathleen Monahan, welcome Sati Fran uh, Kathy Francis, welcome Alicia, welcome Emma. Uh, McLaughlin and uh, let's see I think I got everybody congratulations to Kristen Strachan the good news is she feels like she's pretty darn happy blooming like a flower congratulations that must mean you're doing your practices uh, Sharon Dodd says home life is in need of change thank you okay so dear the soul of Sharon Dodd Sharon Seven's teams guides angels and saints could you please borrow my mouth, offer Sharon guidance to assist with uh, any changes on the home front that can assist her with bringing more joy into her life, remembering the miraculousness. How, my dear Sharon, this is your soul. You have got in the groove, so to speak, with your journey you are aligned to your path 
in the way you intended. Unfortunately, what that has created is a dynamic at the home front that feels out of position, so to speak. Those around you who are not in alignment with all that you have efforted towards these last years may have difficulty in comprehending the new you, so to speak. It is important now that you take your teachings deeper, that you be compassionate and be available to them at the level they are at, not bring to the table anything that is uh, contradictory to their beliefs and understandings or troublesome to them because even though you may have a need for validation and um, uh, proof, if you will, of, its, of whatever it is that you know works, if they show resistance, then truly what is the value of even bringing it up? It is better to simply support them where they're at. And this is the you they have always loved and appreciated, even though it is the past parts of you that would prefer to have been grown from. This is a form of compassion in which you can be available to those where they are at without the need on some levels to elevate them until they are ready. If they are not ready and you try to force even your perspectives upon them, that is an aspect of ego and that could create some blockages on the home front. We hope this wisdom serves you. How? Okay, I'm scrolling through these. I wanted to uh, see what's coming. Okay. Aloha Magdalene O'Meara. So today, uh, for anybody new just coming in, you can request a soul reading for a specific uh, area in your life that's inhibiting you from aligning to your highest miraculous self. Maddie de Guilo asks for guidance in the love area. Okay, that's kind of generic, but we'll do the best we can. For example, you may be married and you need a little guidance with the marriage, or you may have nobody in your life, you may need a little guidance with that. We'll do the best we can. So to the soul of Maddie. Uh, Maddie's uh, question for deeper understandings and intentions, the highest and best wisdom and guidance that can be offered for Maddie at this time regarding this subject matter. Thank you. How? This is one of Maddie's female members of her Heaven's team. I have been assigned to her team to assist her with keeping her heart open, raising her spiritual intelligence, and keeping her attuned to her happy inner child. For you, my beloved Maddie, you tend to spend a lot of time in your head thinking about the possibilities, the what-ifs, the whys I am or am not lovable enough, thinking about the potential future or futures <coughs> that you could have. It is this head time that may not be the, of the greatest benefit to you. You also bounce off a lot of your thoughts from your trusted girlfriends. And although this is, um, on, the, on many levels, completely normal, it causes a bit of spiraling. It is mostly about commiseration versus value. What would serve you best to move yourself from blockages in this area to 
having the love that you desire in your life is by being that expression of love in areas that you have not considered it in. If, for example, you have not exerted yourself on the job to be of value to others, you just go, you work, you leave, you hear about some of the conditions that others may be having, but you don't assist. These kinds of activities might have no direct correlation to what you perceive as blockages in love. But in fact, it is this form of love-based service that keeps the heart open, that brings to you the highest and best conditions for love, both on the receiving and on the offering. For example, if you're in a relationship where there is a lack of what it is you're wanting, by fulfilling your heart through these other avenues, there is no longer demands upon those in your life that they fulfill your love for you because you are being consciously fulfilling it yourself through your own service-based actions. This also acts as a magnetic pulse to attract you somebody that fulfills their heart by serving others as well. And then there is no reason for you to fill up their heart or them to fill up yours since it is both full already. This is also part and parcel of where many relationships fail or do not reach the highest potential because there is great attachment and suffering when one does not fulfill the other's expectations. But if there were no expectations to begin with because we were responsible for fulfilling our own heart, then the relationship could be very strong and filled with love. Work with this information. Try to grasp the deeper comprehension of how it can serve you. How? 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 Thank you. And welcome Julia Lawrence. Welcome Tammy Dixon. And thank you all for hitting the share button and letting other people know about this. So Janet asks, uh, and for those new tuning in, you can make a request for a problem area in your life that um, uh, is taking you away from joy and seeing miracles in your life. Jenna says, my relationship with my daughter, how can I help? Uh, and again, be specific with your requests, folks. Uh, my relationship with my daughter, how can I help? I don't know what to say to her to help her, my daughter and son, to not talk to one another. Okay. So do the soul of this question, do the soul of the children, do the soul of Janice, um, attachments, uh, mindsets, attitudes around the daughter and son not talking, what she can do, um, because it's impacting her joy when the family members are not being honoring and loving to each other. Please offer this guidance at this time. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, you. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey.